In this tutorial, we will draw this part in four stages. In the first stage, we'll model the base. And in the second stage, we'll model the back feature. The third stage will be this feature. And the very last stage will be this rib feature here. So let's go to start a 2D sketch. And we'll start this on the base plane. That's the X, Z plane. I'm going to rotate the view cube anti-clockwise like so. I'm going to use the rectangle tool. We'll start from the origin. And we'll use the dynamic input boxes to enter a length of 96 and a width of 64, like so. And then we'll use the create line tool. We'll draw a straight line here. So this will be the slot that's cut out. So that's 20 millimeters in length. Hold down the left mouse button, to draw in our arc, and close off that sketch, like so. I'm going to dimension this arc here. So this is a radius of uh, 16 divided by two, so that's eight. And then we'll position this according to this line here, directly in the center. So that will be this dimension divided by two. Press enter. And there we have our slot in place. And this feature is now ready to be extruded. So we'll go into 3D model, select extrude, select that profile there. And we'll extrude that by 16 millimeters according to the drawing. We'll press OK. Go to the home view and there we have our base of the part here. Next we have the back feature. So we're gonna draw on this face here. Let's create a new sketch. Draw a rectangle for this. Start in this corner, like so. And I'm gonna use the collinear constraint to position this line collinearly with this line here. And then go into dimension between these two lines as 16 millimeters. And there we have fully constrained that sketch. So again, we'll go to 3D model and we'll extrude that. And that is at a height of 30 plus 34, that's 64 minus 16, that's 48. Press enter. And then we need to put in this chamfer feature on this edge here. So to do this, we'll select the chamfer tool. And here we'll select two distances because as we can see in the drawing, we have one distance being 20 millimeters and the other being 30. We'll do distance one as 20, distance two as 30, and then we'll select the edge just here. And yeah, we can see those are the correct dimensions. We'll press OK. And there we have the back feature. Now onto the third stage. So we'll draw this on this face here. Go create sketch. And for this, we'll use the line tool. Start in the corner here. It will come up at 26 millimeters. Come across at 40 minus 24 divided by two, that's eight. And then again, we'll hold down the left mouse button and put in our arc. That can be any dimension for the time being. Do the other eight millimeter flat there. Come down to this line, and then we'll just close the sketch like so. Let's dimension this arc here. So that is a radius of 24 divided by two, that's 12 millimeters. And there we have fully constrained that feature. So we go to extrude that. Select the profile, we'll flip the direction, and we'll extrude that at 64 minus 22, that's 42. Press enter. We'll go into the home view. And now we just have the final feature, which is the rib feature. So again, we'll rotate the model. We want to draw on this face here. So left click the face, select create sketch. There are different ways to draw ribs. Go on to use the line tool for this one. Come at the corner here, join to this corner, this corner, then I'm going to right click, select close. Now I fully uh, defined this profile here. So we're going to 3D model and extrude that. Again, we'll flip the direction. We'll extrude that at a distance of 12 millimeters, as in the drawing. We'll press OK. We'll go into the home view. And as we can see, we have now modeled this part completely. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section and I will respond as soon as I can. I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.